Hello guys, it's Sam here again. You can see here on this beautiful field, new field here. And today what we're gonna do, I have here a bag with a lot of surprises here. It was really heavy, it was really heavy. Let's find out what is in here actually. Alright? Let's find out, eh? And today, today we're gonna learn what's inside there, what do they do, what type of um, uh, what do they do around the world? What is it famous for? Eh? Which country does this um, does this equipment originate from? So we're gonna learn about this. So let's let's unpack this. Eh? First, what is this, guys? You know what is this? Can you guess it? Very nice color. Eh? It has some orange color. And some white color and a black. Ooh, it has like a pink mark. Eh? Probably Nike, eh? Right? Is it Nike? Probably Nike, and this is a good ball. What do you call this? You guys know it? I guess you guys know it. It's a football. Right? It's a football. You use your leg to play this ball. And in Australia, it's called soccer. In Australia and America, it's called soccer because there's other sports that are more famous than this, and it's more. That's why it's called soccer in Australia. It stops a country, it unites people, it brings people together. This soccer ball, you can juggle. Football, soccer brings people together. No matter what country you're from, no matter what culture you're from, no matter what background, where you upbring, you love these sports, it brings everyone together. So, this sports is played majority around the world in the US, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia, and is the number one sports uh, around the world that's been viewed by a lot of people. Uh, if you want to know where football has originated from, soccer, pick your guess guys. Where do you think it originated from? Pick your guess, come on. Yeah, you got it right there, my man. From the United Kingdom, England, was where soccer was originated from. Back in the 80s, it was originated and it started from the UK and and it spread around the world and that's why we love this awesome sports where for 19 minutes everyone uh, both teams try to score and win the game that's why this is a good um, soccer ball made with synthetic leather so it's a very good enjoyable uh, sports that everyone can play uh, doesn't discriminate anyone no matter where you're from you can enjoy this sport so Hopefully you learn a little bit about soccer. So let's see what we have in the bag, eh? Let's see what we have next. Let's um, probably just let's kick this out somewhere. We've done that. All right. Next one. What do you think this is, guys? Take a guess. You're right. This is volleyball. Volleyball is a non-contact sport, you could say. You can't contact with other uh, your opponents. The first one, soccer, you do get contact with your opponents. In volleyball, you cannot be contact with the other players. So it's, I think it's a safe sport, very safe in terms of injuries and being tackled by the opponent. It's a very safe sport that you can play with your friends, family. Um, it is also a very uh, famous sport around the world. Um, you can play behind your backyard. You can play with your mates. Um, it's a very safe sport. And um, volleyball, volleyball really, I was thinking where it really originated from. And I found out that was originated from the United States of America. How cool is that, eh? 
volleyball guys I know most of you play volleyball might have played or not have played uh, but um, on our previous videos you'll see um, how to play volleyball you can check out uh, the stronger Logan together or our YouTube channel Logan together you can check them uh, they have illustrations how you play this beautiful game volleyball with your hand only with your hand only with your hand the first one was soccer which you use your leg but this is this is sports where you use your hand predominantly your hand and it's a really good sport so hopefully you guys can watch the video and start playing uh, volleyball all right let's go to our next let's go to our next one let's go for our smaller ball what do you think this ball is guys it's really hard it's like a rock actually like a rock that's we can injure it anyway this is the real original cricket ball you know how we did um you have seen the videos we did a cricket session as well but we use a tennis ball so that we won't get injured but this is the original ball maybe they use in matches in cricket they have uh, the headgear shin guard to protect themselves so they don't get injured so this is the real cricket ball made with leather solid leather it's really strong so when we are playing if you're going to use the ball you need you need a helmet you need a chin guard and cricket is also a big sports around the world uh, predominantly mainly in Asia uh, in, in England and Australia mostly uh, they've been played in India mostly India is uh, very famous in cricket and Australia as well has been doing really well in cricket and you guys want to take a guess where, where did cricket originate from? You're right. Cricket again has originated from England, started from England, and yeah, I think USA, the United United States of America, they are not. It's not very popular there. I don't think they have a national team yet. But yeah, it's in England, in India, part of Asia and Australia um, are the ones that compete and play with good sports. Uh, yeah, in some part of Africa as well, forgot. Uh, it's, um, it sometimes can be boring for some people if you don't know the game, uh, especially though the test matches can be very long, can take a week. But the ones, um, there's one day cricket, um, yeah, those ones are more fun to watch. Um, yeah, it's a good sport, you can play with, uh, again, you can play with your friends, your family at the backyard, just need a bat, you can use a stick and yeah it's a good sport guys it's a good sport I played it when I was uh, when I was younger and I've never I've never um, forget those memories you know it just stayed in me it's just having fun with the mates it's just so fun all right let's move on to our next sport Yes, guys, guys, what's this? Looks like an egg, right? Looks like an egg. Um, looks like an egg. It has a kangaroo brand here. Australia made. Very famous. Yep, this is, we call it rugby ball, touch ball, NRL ball, AFL ball. So it's probably one of the favorite sports in Australia uh, which everyone knows about it I think about this I think you can tell me more about this this is probably one of the favorite sports here in Australia most popular um, watched by everyone and it's um, really nice sports I guess I I did play it in high school it's really fun um, a lot of rules involved and and um, it's been played by yeah, a lot of countries as well in Asia in Europe uh, and again this uh, this game has originated from Britain United Kingdom 
again. So originated from there. So uh, this is a fun sport. I, I guess it's mainly built for people who are really big, uh, who are strong, quick, you know, quick, agile. Um, so yeah, it's built for everyone um, if you can do it. Um, yeah, and it's um, getting more popular in Asia as well. So it's a um, really good sport. Everyone can play in the backyard, play different, just throw it, chuck it, pass it around, different. So yeah, yeah, don't miss this opportunity. Uh, I think it's very good. Um, yeah, just ankle ball, rugby ball, touch ball, whatever you call it. Just gonna kick it. This is another type of ball. Looks like a soccer ball, but it's not. It's a net ball. It's a net ball. Uh, another sport in Australia. Uh, this sport is not as famous as it is at the moment, but it is there, getting there. Uh, most country uh, plays and Australia as well plays it, and it's very good. Mostly, I think mostly female play this. It's only female sports, I believe. Um, Correct, right? Only female sports, right? Netball? No female people play. Are you asking me? Yeah. Yeah, right. but it's, it's growing. It's still yeah, yeah, sport yeah. as well. Yeah, it's but predominantly yeah. female play at the moment. Um, the majority of females play. I think uh, male as well is growing at the moment. So yeah, predominantly female play. Non-contact sports, as again, you cannot touch the play. If you touch him, it's foul. There's a lot of positions involved. I think. I played it in high school, and yeah, I think it's one of the uh, one of the games where you need to think a lot. You need to use your brain tactically, and you need to be really be able to adapt, adapt into the game. So um, it's one of the sports that require really good knowledge and your positioning well. So yeah, it's really uh, fun sports. Um, in order to play this, you need a net, you need a hoop to score. Um, there's a lot of parks where they have uh, netball poles and hoops so you can go and play there uh, so yeah um, yeah it's a really good sport I guess for, um, it's a really good sport I can't, can't agree more the ball is a other one different type then to a super ball it's just made by Gilbert uh, Suzuki so yeah it's um I think it's good good eh guys Next one is basketball. Basketball. This was also my one of my favorite sports growing up. I think it's a worldwide sport as well. There's America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and it's really grown. It's a uh, it's the second most popular sport around the world. Um, so yeah, it's a really famous sport. Been played. You might have. Michael Jordan, Stephen Carey, all those other players from America and it's getting very popular in Australia as well. And it's a sports um, that has originated from yes, yes, the United States of America. Alright, it was originated from the United States of America. Um, maybe that's why eh? it's so famous there. Right? It's so famous, it's so popular, it's getting all the influence around the world with all the top top players, Michael Jordan, all those LeBron James, Steph Curry, uh, 
name you name them you name them all right um yeah it's a good sport uh, a lot of pubs that have um basketball court and hook you go and play there oh you love them you love them um it's really good you use your hand and you use your leg to play this game so yeah it's one of a uh, good game that they invented in the late 80s so yeah peace out Shoot. This is a uh, dodgeball. I'll throw it at you. You have to dodge it. All right? Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, I got another one. That's a game. We're going to dodge from this. It's a soft ball. It's made by Hans Sports. It's a soft one. Um, if it hits you, you want to enjoy yourself. Uh, this is a game where you try to hit the opponent and if they hit them, they have. So it's a good game, fun game. You can play anywhere, basically. Um, it's more fun than on the grass. It's famous in Europe. I think it was originated in, was originated in France. North of France. No, no, it was originated in Europe. Um, there's a couple of countries that have originated. It's origination from, it's not quite clear. So it's, it's, let's say it's from Europe. It's from Europe. It's from Europe. Um, nice ball. Good. And if I hit you, nothing will happen. Uh, nice. You can play like a volleyball. See? Now you can spin it round. It's a good, good thing about it. Knock around with your friends and have fun. Alright, this is called. Dodgeball. The last ball we have today is a tennis ball. Tennis is also one of the most popular sports around the world. we showed you that are played by all team sports but this one is different because it's an individual sport so it's only by you you don't have a team which requires a lot of fitness a lot of a long time training to be better so yeah it's a um, very famous sport it is originated from France from if I'm not mistaken from France so yeah it's a really fun sport I think this one you need you need a tennis court to play it's I think you can't really play at your backyard unless you have a net and a good concrete to play with um, so yeah you need two people to play exactly so it's quite a fun fun sports to play with if you haven't um, give it a try and see how you go with it. Because yeah, you wouldn't wreck it. You would not regret it. Alright guys, I just demonstrated where all the balls come from, where was it originated, which sports, why is it good. Um, um, so those are very good you know, tip of knowledge that you can have. Um, because all the sports, all majorly, all of them are team sports and one is individual. Which really, all these sports help you physically fit. Keeps your heart pumping. 
um, um, and um, keep your body um, healthy, gives you strength. Uh, it's all good sports that you can play, uh, even behind your backyard. So, um, yeah, getting all this knowledge, I think, was good. It's good, and um, hope you guys like it and hope you learn a little about, a little about the sport um, that you play or might have not known where it is, where it, where it was originated from. So, yeah, hope you guys like it. Um, Thank you for tuning in and if you want to check out more videos of all the sports, um, check our website strongertogetherlogan.com Play, stay active, stay healthy, have fun with your friends, with your mates, and yeah. What's your favorite sport? Hit them. Which of the one which looks the coolest? Huh? Which is the best color? Which is awesome? Which looks really good? Think, comment them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one do you like? Comment them below. Share, like. Let's have fun with this.